Hello, and you're very welcome to the 70th edition of the Take a Pull podcast with Andy Cummins and Declan Carroll. Uh, we're going to take you through the Punchestown card on the 15th of October, and we're going to do it in snappy time because Declan has a flight to catch. But first of all, Declan, how are you? <laughs> I'm good. You'll be doing your best now to get me to miss it, to have me here chatting all day. Yeah, well, it's not a flat card, so I should be getting through it quite quickly. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I completely forgot. Um, not very good with time. Um, and obviously, if you don't want to get you anxious going through the airport because there's nowhere worse to be stressed. Um, right, well, look, we'll jump straight in then, Declan. Why not? Um, yeah, let's get go. this over with. Um, the William Hill proper race and betting, their proper betting three year old hurdle. Um, not a bad old race here, and a horse that we've already talked about this season. Um, is going to oh, well, he was going to line up here. I don't think he was declared just for Ryan Horst that was at the stall. Uh, the name's mm. kind of going out of ter- my yeah, it uh, wasn't declared. That was the one I was kind of interested in, see how he'd go. But, um, obviously, another day in mind for him. Slurk came quite interested for Russell Sullivan, decent uh, form on the flat rate in the high 70s, makes his hurdle a debut. Uh, which one do you like here, Nick? Um, yeah, Russ seems to be getting these these flat owners to take their horses jumping. Ele- ele- mm. Slurk is on by Eleanor Kennedy, and he's had a, I think the banana tree has gone jumping as well for Amanda Torrance. So, um, good man, Ross. Uh, but look, yeah, I, I actually looked at this before Dex, Andy. I thought it was looking at it after Dex. And yeah. I <laughs> I did like Terra Ferma and the yeah. Blue was going to be um, quite interesting. Chicken Town Horse, that won it, one of those AQBS races in France, <laughs> uh, the flat races that they call French bumpers. But, um, it, I, I ended up on Solar Drive. Uh, it was two lengths ahead of Action Plan. Action Plan is declared today to a cock. Right, um, okay. So, yeah, look, I have loads of interest in this race, but I, I can see I can see Solar Plan taking it based on, you know, the, the farm we have on hand anyway. Yeah, a Solar Drive. Um, yeah, look, it's... Very it's solid, look. Okay, there is a, obviously a little bit of a weight swing. Um, and it would be a nice little boost to Terra Firma as well. Um, obviously beaten uh, well behind him at uh, Killarney. Went on to win the next day. Um, he is probably going to be favourite. I'd imagine there's going to be stronger three-year-old hurdles as we kind of go forward as well um, throughout the card. Um, it's always good to give a mention to anything like Churchill that goes hurdling because he has a, a weirdly good record with the few hurdlers that he has. Um, and maybe some trainers and owners are starting to notice that in uh in Fatwater, in Fatwater, I don't even know how to. I'm not going to go with that one. Infatuator, uh, yeah, Jesus. Okay, yeah, I'm, a, I'm a long way away from my uh, computer screen today. I'm in a different room. Uh, Chartwell Lady as well in there for um, Dermot McLaughlin too. So it'll be interesting to see if they run. Solar Drive probably is the, the one to be with, though. I would agree with you there. And um, probably not the best bet in heat to go with. Um, but what will probably be a good bet in heat deck is the next race in 80 to 109 two mile uh, handicap hurdle the William Hill proper racing or pro- yeah proper pricing handicap hurdle um, yeah like a, a, a decent enough race I suppose for the grade a few horses that have hit the crossbar last time out in the shape of a single edition uh, Targa Flavio and say it first so a couple of horses that were second uh, Mount uh, Anglesby as well um, hitting the crossbar the last twice as well so do you think any of them are going to get their turn here, Deck, or do you, do you fancy something else? Uh, well, it's, it's Mount Anglesby's uh, handicap debut, but um, mm. Danny is back on board. It's, it's quite interesting. Yeah. But I, I thought Tiger Flavio, um, with the ground against him, ran quite well the last day. Now, he was beaten 12 lengths, and he, he still got two pounds. I think it's a little bit harsh. Um, this is toward handicap run. He's going to appreciate this better ground. And, um, yeah, I... I think he takes this. I this horse definitely has has a win in him anyway. So mm. um, I was a nice run on ground. He, he wouldn't have been expected to handle the last day. So I, I think even though he's gone up to two pounds, he's gonna appreciate this and he takes yes, yeah, it's, it's gonna be him to take the beat for me. He'll go close. Okay. I'll probably stick with the top weight mount uh, Anglesby. Probably, you know, he's running decent enough maidens. Um as you said, Danny Mullins back on board and yeah, he might just be a little bit better than the, than the 109 class. Probably a little bit unlucky not to have won a maiden hurdle. Uh, he's bumped into some, you know, horses that are probably a little bit better than the summer maiden hurdle class that he would have been contesting. So, um, a good opportunity here before, you know, the the proper 80 to 109s, I suppose, for lack of a better term, come out in the winter time because they, these races in about two or three months' time are going to get exceptionally harder to win, uh, as you know, Deck, as the, as the winter maiden hurdle start to uh, take shape and come into effect. Um, onto the 320 then, which 
is the Wyndham Hill Commitment to Top Prices Hurdle. Um, again, this is a very small field, but it probably the race of the day in terms of the quality of horses that are taking part. <laughs> Eagle Fang, uh, we've been a big fan of him last year. Great to see him back. Um, I'm very much looking forward to seeing how he, he does this season. Um, and then Aspire Tower feels like he's been around forever. Uh, Biker in, as well. Um, not the best season from him last year, but you know has the opportunity to maybe uh, go forward again this year. And then obviously Pied Piper, who's very favourite at the weights. Um, excellent effort at the Cheltenham Festival um, last spring. Maybe a little bit, you, you say he's been disappointing since. Uh, don't know if that's by design deck, but do you think he's going to go and win this or... Um, would you would you trust him? It's, it's it, these races are like we touched on them before we come on, Andy. It's it's very hard to trust who's off. Yeah, in these races, isn't it? Like you know, mm. look, we, we take it. A, we we look at a race like they're all trying Eagle Fang. Um, he, he has to give away a lot of weight. Like he's you know he's allocated 11, 11 Oakley Brown will take off five pound. But you know it's a tough ask of a four year old to give a horse rate at one hundred and fifty five weight <laughs> yeah um, nine pounds know, to be exact like it's a, it is an awful lot the huge huge ask yeah it, it's a big ask so you know look assuming they're all trying here point 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 or should win this he was toured in the county he's had two flat runs since like so he's not unfair um he should be winning this shouldn't he like he should yeah. be winning this easy yeah no he should be um there should be like uh, even if he you know if he win if he doesn't get if he doesn't win here like you're not going to get dropped in the handicap because it should be hard just think, yeah you'd be you are their handicap is going to think something's wrong with you because you have about 20 pounds in hand yeah um, and then if you do go and win this even by the length of the straight well the handicapper is going to go well you had 25 pounds in hand it doesn't matter yeah um so yeah it should just be a penalty kick for Pied piper i think the race was won last year by was it zana here that won this race last year i think um zana here um, won it, yeah yeah so yeah and we had I, i'm pretty sure that we had a very similar conversation of to what we were saying about pipe piper about zana here as well yeah yeah, yeah it was only so, two runner race last year yeah 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 um so i think he's gonna be hard to be again i'd love to see how eagle fang does run and um, you wouldn't want to be getting close to pipe piper especially at these weights um but he is a horse that I could see going well in the the top two mile handicap hurdles this season. That's a good starting point for him. Like even if he does get well be, um, he had a fantastic season last year. Obviously coming with a uh, cumulating with a win at the Punchestown Festival yeah. uh, over Adderby Charlie and a few other mm -hmm. nice horses. So, um, definitely one that could have a nice season going forward. Um, the three fifty is the William Hill Keep Your Race Day Positive Maiden Hurdle. Um, right. So this is the three fifty on the card, and again. Uh, kind of stick into this team deck of uh low runner maiden hurdles which is a rarity in ireland i uh, can only really put it down to the ground um oh it's definitely but, the ground like a fairly yeah. nice young day. like there was so many that went letting down like and mm. it was just it, it got a lot of horses beat yes they were still getting some funny results i think and yeah yeah it's, it's down to the ground at the moment Absolutely. Uh, this is probably a penalty kick for Mr. Pink, is it? Or do you, do you see anything else? Like, Bally um, Tank, decent form, but like, what what do you think? Yeah, look, Mr. Pink, he, he, he's off since his second to Antrim Coast last October, and I'm not mm. sure how good that form is either. Um, Antrim Coast did look, he looked like he's going to be a really, really right. nice horse, but um, he's probably quite ground dependent as well, Antrim Coast, and <clears throat> not really a winter horse. Uh, but Bally Sachs Hank, he was second to Uncle Pat on the stall. He is a bumper winner and he's been placing mm. other bumpers. I think this this horse has a fair jump of ability. And um, yeah, I'd, I'd be siding with, with Bally Sachs Hank. You'd be getting and, a price, uh, I'd say, as well. Like, people will see a good old Brendan. Um, we should yeah, have got him yeah. on uh, and asked. But um, yeah, no, obviously, Mr. Pink's going to have the, the Willie Mullins. and Well, it's actually Danny Paul Town and probably getting the day off. Um, well, that might tell you a little bit more about it as well. But yeah, no, as you said, Bally Sachs Hank is a bumper winner, so um, definitely no mug. Um, yeah. So you, you stick to the likely second favourite there, Deck, yeah? I'd imagine he is. I'd imagine yeah. he is based on that second. It's it's probably a match, this race. And, yeah. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll side with Bally Sachs Hank. Very good, very good. Right, on to the 420 then, which is the William Hill check out our top prices guarantees handicap hurdle. I'm doing a lot of advertising for William Hill here, so it's not as fun as loud GAA or, or other things, but anyway um 
right so we've got 15 16 or oh, 17 runners okay so quite a big um big field here and looks like aiden howard has inherited um some horses as well from uh james or so yeah james fahey um i wonder if uh our, I wonder if our Jeremy. lad, Dance and Jeremy, I wonder if he's moved over. Uh, it'd be interesting to find out. Um, it looks like he has, because this is the second horse now that I've seen in these colours that are with uh, Aiden Howard. So, Tech, a big, big field here, but you, you alluded that you fancied one, um, I, I believe, here. So, so who is it, Gwen? Yeah, look, I, I'd be quite keen on, on um, Celtic Crossing here. She is only a four-year-old, but yeah. uh, she did show plenty on a handicap debut. Um, it was over. It was off this mark. It was over this trip. It was one nearest finish. You know, what I mean, it was one of these, one of the one, one of the classics. Really yeah. ever. Like spotlight bingo. Yeah, she will be off, and she will win. It's that simple. <laughs> she will be off, and she will win. Beaten thirteen lengths at sixty six to one the last day at Roscommon. Um, although yeah, it was an eye catching enough run. Um, up and trip. It's it's the classic uh, deck system, uh, which yeah. has been tried and tested. And you're probably going to get a nice enough price, are you? Well, the only thing is, like, we seen everything we wanted to see the last day, except the bookies watch races as well. So, um, yeah, <laughs> I'm not sure she'll be as big as she could have been because bit of an eye catcher the last day. And, like as I said, she she will win. So, um, <laughs> I hope the bookies aren't listening. Yeah, well, Deck, um, from your from your penthouse in lithuania by the sounds of what it's gonna be <laughs> um, if, if, assuming you can catch this flight but i'm going as quick as i can for you i'm gonna trust you on that one there's no point if you think this thing will win i'm not gonna no, no, this go, go collect yeah go collect i'm not even gonna chime in on that one we'll go collect um right then at uh, the next race another 17 runner uh handicap is the william hill extra places daily handicap hurdle um a slightly higher class obviously here there's a, a 119 being the top weight with big stage um and mr beaten in here um doran's law who's done well since coming over to philip rothwell he, he'd have every chance here as well i think uh but deck you said you liked another philly so um or possibly even it's a mare it's probably a mare so uh who is it here who you like yeah uh it's folly beach um she she was placing two maidens now like she's obviously shown her hand a lot more than the filly in the last race. Um, mm. and the main one that was over two miles, the other was over two miles four. Uh, she made her handicap debut when she was toured off this mark over two miles six. She was flying home. She stepped up a, another four long here, two miles seven. The mark might be a little bit harsh, but she's shown she can run well off it. And I went, you know. If she is off and she's asked to go win a race, I'd imagine she will win it off this this mark. But look, probably doesn't have as much in hand as you would need it in some of these deeper mm. winter maiden, maidens. Oh, sorry, winter handicaps. But it's a very winnable race. I I think she'll. Yeah, that's the double. Folly Beach, right? Uh, well, look, if, if you're that confident, I, I would be in tentatively with Doran's Law, who's, who's enjoyed a decent season so far. And a, a horse that I liked when he was actually, um, I think I tipped him once at the stole quite a while ago. Um, I think he was, he was I think it was his second start after he'd ran behind Walkaway Harry in a bumper. Um, yeah, he scored um, the last day of the stole. Yeah, and look, he's some nice form in the book. Um, up two pounds for that, which obviously isn't ideal, but those the stall handicaps um when you're talking about kind of out of season form uh, out of season handicap form it's the Le stall form and the galway form is what you really want to kind of look at usually um with, um so it's, it's unsurprising that he's gone up in the weights but um i'd say dorns will take a, a, a fair bit of beating there but deck you're obviously confident in folly beach so um I, yeah, guys, I, just keep an eye on that. I will be having a decent bet on on the two of them nice the two of yeah very good be, like unless you're gonna be totally scuppered by the ground so yeah you, you know get, get that hose out punch yourself get the hose out, <laughs> get the hose get out, the hose out. <laughs> <laughs> right finally the other stallion farms edf mares uh flat race is the last race on the card deck I, I don't think you ever have a bet in the bumper neither do i really so um only if we've won loads of money or lost loads of money right and is this mummy dairies to lose obviously bumped into a nice enough horse at the galway festival in the shape of um meth mathiel um and i believe he runs today we're recording on a sunday here yeah. sunday just after declarations i believe he's to run at cork um and is well fancied to go and win at cork so um do you think he mommy dairy's likely winner here um couldn't tell you andy didn't look couldn't tell you 
Well, I, I'd say I'd say she is uh, to, to put it to it, put it lightly. Probably going to be a shade of odds on to win the last. Um, but I suppose a winner is a winner. Uh, Deck, we've nearly. I don't think we've quite set a record. I believe we went through a Clan Mel card quicker than this in the past. Uh, yeah, and it was probably called off. Be, yeah, and then it got called off. Yeah, because you. I was going to go through the card that night. Yeah, well, well you did go through the card. Who, who's to say you didn't? Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> um, very good. Is there anything else you want to add before we? Uh, before we log off here, is there, is there anything else you want to you want to? Um, I'll, I'll, I'm raging. I won't be there on Tuesday, to be honest. Um, it was great to be back at Ferry House on Saturday, and it'll be great to be back at Punchdown. I'll try to get there Wednesday. Might be asking a bit too much now after being out of the out of the showroom for for two days, but um, I'll, I'll do my best there to catch some of the races anyway. So yeah, looking nice. forward to looking forward to get, getting back into the proper racing. Yeah, absolutely. Um, look, but we've uh, I've started a little horses to follow list uh, deck. You're welcome to add anything that uh, there'd be probably different horses that you'll be following than I would. But uh, look, winners are winners. That's that's why not why not worth following for long. One way, yeah. that's it. Gone. You don't that's even know what you're following yet. That's the thing. You, no. you think of, yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah no I'll, I'll probably start dripping them out on twitter um or x uh, in, in the near future just to you know whet yeah. people's appetites for what's coming up but just this was a nice quick fire podcast keep like share and subscribe and yeah. commenting i just want to stay andy before well, we go off just to say thanks yeah, yeah. to peter Lowe from fairy house yesterday because he threw himself in charge a couple of vouchers for yeah, the, the and, and and said thanks you know for for everything you do so <laughs> we're, we're just on here chatting we're just having fun. Yeah, that's all we so, do. Um, that was it was very, very good of him. Yeah, no, much appreciated. Um, good man Peter as well. And yeah, tags us in all the going updates. I do appreciate yeah. that as well. I like that. Uh very good. Yeah, no, just keep uh, engaging, guys. We'll be back at uh, some stage next week, probably covering whatever's on the weekend. Is it is it Galway the weekend? Possibly Galway the weekend. I can't remember. No, I think Galway's on the weekend of, um, week- of, of Halloween. Chelten. Yeah. Weekend of Cheltenham. Oh, that does make sense, yeah. Um Right, yeah, well, I'll have to check what's next week. But, Deck, you need to catch a flight, so I'm going to let you go. Um, (laughs) Safe journey, and, um, yeah, we'll talk to you next week. Bye-bye. Cheers, Doug. Bye-bye.